How's it going? Carl here. Today in Power BI, I'm going to be showing you a quick way you can send emails directly from your Power BI report or your Power BI app. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, now that we're in Power BI, we're only going to focus on emails today. So don't worry about seeing no amazing visuals. We're just going to focus on emails and we're going to just need some email data. Let's just go ahead and pull in email. So we're just gonna hit that and we're pulling in a table view, which is good. And then we're just gonna go ahead and expand it. So you guys can see what's going on here. And for the sake of this, let's just go ahead and increase the size. And just keep in mind that this is dummy data. These are not real emails. So no, you're, you won't be able to email these people and get a response. They are all uh, dummy emails, just mock data. All right. The next thing we're going to do is create a column. So as you know, you can just come straight here, say new column. And then we're going to call this column email link. Email to enter all right so once you get that entered in what we want to do is just go ahead and expand this out so you're able to see what that looks like so we want to go ahead and select email link so now that we've done that you can basically see that we have concatted the text to say mail to with the email the next step we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this field this email link data field and then we're going to change the data category. We're going to change the data category to web URL. Once you change that to web URL, you're going to get this pop up right here. And then you can just, let's just see what it says. So it's basically going to ask you if you want to launch another application, which will be the Outlook application. And then you're going to hit allow. Then it's going to let you go ahead and <clears throat> open up an email dialog box straight from Power BI. So this is great. So let's go ahead and close this out. Now, however, we do not want to see this right here. So how are we going to fix this? The next step for us is let's get rid of this mail too, because we don't want to see it like this. We actually want to see it just like this. So here is the next step. Next thing we're going to do, we're just going to, we're just going to come down here. We're going to say conditional format. And we're just going to say web URL for email. Let's go ahead and do that. And then it's, it's going to give you a format style apply to what field should we base this on. It's the main one that you want to focus on. And we want to go down here and we want to base this on the email link. So we want to go ahead and hit OK right there. And now as you can see, there's an underline for a hyperlink for all the emails. So what we can do now is go ahead and get rid of this. And now we have this email established and we can also go ahead and change the data category. So now it knows it's a web URL. It's the same thing. We're going to hit allow and it pops up right there. Email simple as that. We can close that out. That's how you get the emails to an email link. Now let's take this one step further. So let's just pick on the email. Now imagine, when you clicked on that link, you wanted this subject line to be filled out. And then you also wanted the body to be filled out with some, you know, pretty standard generic data just to go ahead and get the email started. How do you do that in Power BI? Well, let's go ahead and walk through those steps. So we're just going to close this out. So as we come back here, I just want to point out something real quick. All we did here was we can cat it text. We just took mail to text and we can cat it it with the email column in the data table. We're gonna do the same thing with the next step, but just a little bit more information. So let's go ahead and come here. We're gonna say new column. This time, we're gonna call this standard email and the text that we're gonna enter is right here. So feel free to pause the screen to get all of this down. All right, for your standard email, all you're gonna do is you're gonna use this text here. It's basically taking the mail to text and concatenate with an email column in the data table. Then we're going to do a CC. 
and we're gonna CC myself and then we're gonna do a subject line and the subject line it should say this is urgent and then we're gonna do a body and then the body is gonna say we hope to do a database update on this particular date and then thanks for the support so to test that let's go ahead and drop the email in there then let's drop the standard email in there we can't do anything with the data right now until we turn it into a web URL so let's just go ahead and turn it to a web URL now that it's a web URL we can just go ahead and select off of this we can test this by just clicking on it hit allow and then there you have it you have the CC is mailing to um, it's got the subject this is urgent and it has the body we hope to do a database update on whatever whatever the person sending the email can update this date thanks for the support so we can back out of there so we know that it looks good the next thing we want to do is we don't want it to look like this once again we want it to just be a link that we can click on right here so we're gonna go over here to columns we're gonna do this drop down we're gonna conditional format for a web URL and then we're gonna base this on that standard email table I mean column then we're gonna hit OK now we can get rid of that standard email and then we can go back here let's just click off of that so now we whenever we just click on this we'll get boom we're gonna get this it's gonna ask us if we want to do that and then we just hit allow as the end user I can just come in here and enter whatever my data is and we're good we're in business and if I just do this one more thing here I noticed that one more thing I want to fix is this that really should be no big deal but I just wanted to fix that for data consistency so we can come here boom person can enter their date send that email off and there you have it that's how you basically create an email link inside the Power BI report so you can send an email straight from the report. You do not have to worry about grabbing the email, writing it down, copying and pasting it, going into Outlook and having to type everything up yourself. You can also do a standardized email. You now no longer have to type the subject line or CC an extra person or even type the body for that matter. You can totally improve the end user experience minimizing the information that they have to put in the email to keep it simple and simplistic for them so they can be more efficient. My name is Carl Huff. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Before you go, if you're new to this channel, here's a chance for you to subscribe and make sure you smash that thumbs up once again. Make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section. And if you want to check out some more videos that may help you learn on the go as you grow, you can do so right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.